this is Kimberly from Lakeside Loops and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this raised heart square that's part of the traveling crochet afghan series. You can find the full written instructions for this square on my blog lakesideloops.com as well as a link to the main landing page for the traveling afghan series where you can find links to all the other squares that are part of the crochet afghan as well as the knit afghan. So for this square you will need a J six millimeter crochet hook and some worsted, worsted weighted yarn, uh, medium weight yarn. We used uh, line brand Woolies and this is in the color Natural Heather. All right, so to begin we just need to create a knot. So take my yarn end and then I'm just gonna reach through And then I'm going to put that loop on my hook. Now we need to chain 33. Now we need to half double crochet in the third chain from our hook. So one, two, three in this chain, we need to make a half double crochet. And we're going to half double crochet all the way down our chain. We should have 31 half double crochets when we're done. All right, so I've skipped ahead here and I finished row one. I've half, crippled, half double crocheted all the way to the end of my chain. Now for row two, I'm going to chain two and I'm going to turn and now I'm going to be working this way back down my row. And again, half double crochets all the way down our row. I'm gonna back up here. If you're new to crochet and you're not sure where to put your first stitch, whether it goes here or maybe in here or over here, I'm gonna show you a trick. So when I finished row one, what I could have done is put a stitch marker in my last stitch like this. You could use a safety pin, a colorful piece of yarn. It doesn't have to be a actual stitch marker. So put that in my last stitch and this is where my first stitch in my next row will go. So I'm going to chain two, turn, and now to start row two I know my first half double crochet goes right into there. And I'm going to half double crochet all the way down my row. Again 31 half double crochets. My stitch count for each row will be 31, and that does not include my beginning chain. So this beginning chain is not part of your stitch count. You're just counting your half double crochets, and you should have 31 of them. All right, so I've skipped ahead and I've finished row two. Row three to row eight is more of the same. So you're just gonna repeat row two, which is just half double crocheting all the way down your row. And once you've completed row eight, that's when we'll start making the heart. And now I've obviously skipped ahead again. If only it was easy as a snap of a finger. <laughs> um, and we've completed all eight rows. So now we're going to dive into row nine, which is the beginning of our heart. All right, so row nine, I'm gonna chain two, we're going to turn, and we're gonna half double crochet in the first 15 stitches. And I always double check to make sure I've done all 15. Fifteen. All right, so our next stitch is going to be a front post treble around our next stitch. So if, again, you're new to crochet and you're having trouble figuring out which stitch you should be front post trebling around, Another trick is to go down to the row that you need to work your stitch and count over 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16. So this is the stitch that we need to front post treble around because we half double crocheted into our first 15 stitches and then the front post treble goes around stitch number 16. Sorry, let me back that up and show you what a treble is. So you're going to yarn over twice. You're going to take your hook and put it behind your stitch and then bring it back around to the front again. So you're working around the post as opposed to into the stitch. Now you're going to grab some yarn and pull it back around the stitch with you. Now a treble is you yarn over and you pull through two, three times. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now this stitch seems a lot, it is a lot taller than our half double crochets. Our heart is going to seem too tall as we work it up. It's going to seem like it's not going to turn out just right, but I promise in the end it'll all come together. Um, because it's so tall, as we work it up, it's sort of going to puff up like this. So now our next stitch is a half double crochet and we're going to be half double crocheting to the end of our row. Again, if you're not sure where to put your half double crochet, it's on this side of the next stitch that you should be putting your half double crochet. So don't go into here, go into here. If you're unsure, as you know when you make a stitch, so this is my stitch and this back here is sort of the, the hole that it makes. So everything is kind of angled, slanted this way. So this is from our previous row, which was back here. If I turn it around, you can see where your next stitch should go. So this is the stitch that we front post trebled around. This is the next stitch and you can see this is the hole for it right here. If I flip back around it's to this side of the stitch. So that's where your half double crochet needs to go after you make your trebles. I say trebles because in the next rows we'll be making more than one treble. We're going to gradually increase to build up our heart. So this was one, on the next row we're going to make three and then five and so on. All right, so I've skipped ahead and finished row nine. And now for row 10, we're gonna chain two. And this time we're only going to do 14 half double crochets. And then we're going to do three front post, or sorry, back post trebles. So with each row, the number of half double crochets we do is going to decrease as our heart grows. And our heart is the front post and back post trebles. So we're gonna half double crochet in the first 14 stitches. All right, so I've completed my 14 half double crochets. You can see here there's one stitch before this front post treble from the previous row. And this stitch is where we're going to begin working our back post trebles. So to do a back post treble, I'm gonna yarn over twice. And this time, instead of going this way around my post, I'm gonna go in from behind and through to the front and then back through to the back. I'm going to grab some yarn and pull it back around with me and then I'm going to do my treble. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. That's one back post treble now to do another one. And this second back post treble is going around our front post treble from the previous row. Previous row. Sorry, I almost said round. <laughs> Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And we're going to do it one more time. And now we're going to move back into half double crochets. So again, where we begin our half double crochets isn't in here, it's over here. Oh sorry, we just put a front post treble around that stitch. <laughs> So it's not in here, it's over here. See, even I can get mixed up sometimes. And you should have the same number of half double crochets on this side as you did leading up to your trebles. So 14 half double crochets. 
and it's like that the whole way through the pattern. Whatever you've done on one side of the heart is the same on the other side of the heart. The heart is in the very middle. The only difference is one side has a chain of two and the other one obviously doesn't. <laughs> so as you'll see in the written pattern on the blog, you're just going to continue to decrease the half double crochets so that you can increase your front post and back post trebles so you can grow your heart up like this. So you're just going to continue to make your heart bigger and bigger and bigger and then you do, there's two rows up here that are the same and then you're going to start to shrink it back in and add some double crochets into the middle. And then you finish off with more rounds of half double crochet, or sorry, gosh, I keep saying rounds, more rows of half double crochets. And then your square, my friends, is complete. This is what the front looks like, and this is what the back looks like. If you have any questions about the stitches that are used, um, anything at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. Again, the full instructions are on the blog. There are stitch counts. Um, there's also a chart. So head there uh, for the full instructions to finish your heart square. And have fun with the traveling afghan. I can't wait to see everyone's finished blankets um, and our own finished blanket that all of us designers are putting together piece by piece. <laughs>